Hey everybody, welcome to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. Today we're going to be working with clipping paths. And what a clipping path good for is good for is it adds transparency without deleting the background. So it allows you to isolate part of an image um, and make everything else transparent when the image is printed or placed in another application like Illustrator or something like that. So you don't have to, it's not necessary to delete any of the image when you're creating the clipping path, So, which is nice. So let's go ahead and learn how to create a clipping path. So what I did is I just made a path around this circle here. So if I turn this off, oh, it looks like it froze. Hold on a second. Actually, it didn't freeze. I just had to change it to a back, from a background to a layer. So you can see my clipping path, clipping path that I've made, just a circle. Um, we're gonna go go ahead and make your own clipping path. Then we're gonna go into paths, and and then we're going to uh, double click on our work path, our new work path button down here. So let me make sure this is selected. All right, and we're gonna want to click on our new work path. All right, name it, and I'm just going to name mine circle. Hit OK. And then we're going to go into the uh, path options here. And we're going to select clipping path. And now we've got uh, some new options going on here. Um, we're going to enter a flatness value. You can go from 0.2 to a 100. Or you can leave it blank, um, and that will use the printer's default settings, and that's usually recommended. So a little bit about the flatness there. So for high resolution printing, um, such as 1,200 DPI and up, you're gonna use um, 8 to 10, and for low resolution resolution printing, so something like 300 to like 300 to 600 or something like that use a uh, one to three and then you can gauge in the middle you can use the other uh, things in the middle so that's like a little guide for you um, a rough guide so I'm just gonna hit OK I'm not gonna enter anything in there and now we have uh, a clipping path so if you're going to use this clipping path to print then we're gonna need to change it to uh, CMYK color so you would do that in the uh, mode up here and change that to CMYK. And um, let's just do that. We'll go ahead and do that. So now it's in CMYK. If we go on our channels, you can tell that. And now we're going to have to save this as a format that we can use to um, export to something like Adobe Illustrator or InDesign or something like that. So if you're gonna send it to Illustrator, let's go to save it as an EPS. So go file, save as, and then we can find EPS right here, Photoshop EPS, it's this one. And this is what you'll save it as. And um, we'll just save it like that. We'll go name it Circle Moon or something like that. And I'll save it. And now we've got this. We've got our preview here, one bit. We got our encoding. So don't even you don't have to really um, worry about this too much. But if you're gonna go for a TIFF, you want to set the image compression to none, and uh, EPS. You want to set the preview to if you're saving it as an EPS, you're gonna save it as um, eight bits right here. So if you're if you're exporting and you want to export to Illustrator, you want to use EPS. If you're going to save um, and export it into InDesign, you're going to want to use a TIFF. So I'll go over that in a second. So I'm just going to hit OK. And then let's go to File, Save As Again. And if pretend we're going to save this for InDesign. We will come down to TIFF here at the bottom. And circle and design and now we got this and this is where I was talking about image compression you want to leave it at none and everything else is fine just hit OK 
yep, that's fine. Hit OK. And this would that would be good for importing into InDesign. So let's go ahead and we can import this into um, Illustrator. So I'm going to load up, I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to load up Illustrator really quick and then we can, I'll show you what it means when I'm going to import this in. So now I have InDesign open, or I mean Illustrator. I have Illustrator open and this is CS6. So um, it goes right along with Photoshop CS6. Let's go to open up our file that we made. Go to File, Open, and then I'm going to scroll down and find it. And here it is, the EPS, Open. And now you can see how this uh, imported. I've got just what was in my clipping mask, and here's my path. You can see this blue liner on the outside is my path. Um, and... Uh, this little box here that's the, that's the canvas um, that's kind of like your square here on in Photoshop but basically what I was what it has done is cut out everything outside of the clipping mask and left inside the color and uh, you didn't even have to delete anything in Photoshop or anything like that so that's why you want to use clipping masks so that's it for Clipping Mask uh, and what I wanted to show you this time. And we'll go over more about this kind of stuff in some upcoming tutorials. So thank you for watching this one and have a good one, everybody.